Hey, what's up, guys? It's Reggie again. Um, it is currently August 1st, Wednesday, August 1st. I've been here since Thursday night, the 26th, 27th of July, one of those days. I've been here for almost a week at Springfield, Missouri Terminal. Um, I wouldn't even count the load that they gave me leaving here last week or a couple days ago because I ended up coming right back here because my trucks ran into the issue. So technically speaking, I've been here for a week um, while they've been trying to sort things out. So um, here's a little update on what happening now um the truck i got my truck back it sat in the international dealership or sh um, shop for about two and a half days uh he told me that my dpf filter was one of the most dirtiest dpf filters that he had ever seen i don't know how believable that is but i mean from the problems that it was giving me maybe that's true but at the same time, if it was that dirty, wouldn't it have shut down? Because they were telling me that we prefer you not to drive this truck because the cold that it's giving you is a um, cold that is going to shut your engine down. I was able to drive from Joplin to the dealership here in Spring, or the repair shop here in Springfield down the street, um, which is about 73 miles. So maybe there's a certain amount of miles you can go before it shut down. But I made it. That's the good part. You know, that's all I'm going to really worry about is I was able to make it. Um, and I went and stayed for a night at the Econo Lodge, paid about $111 because the campus inn was full. Um, when man, I took that shuttle, I seen, I ain't never seen so many prime people in my life. This week that I've been here, I have never seen so many prime people. I mean, there's people here in training, you know, in PSD local, there's people, just, you know, just drivers, truckers, normal drivers, truckers who, you know, just been driving normally. Um, TNT people come in here waiting for their trainers. Uh, you got a, lots of people on the basketball court. People was everywhere. And for the, I've been here, I've been here many times now and uh, this is, I haven't seen it this pack. And I got to see Robert Lowe pan, playing um, black, basketball. <laughs> I got to see Robert Lowe playing basketball on the court. Man, let me tell you, Robert Lowe is like what, 68, 69 years old, something like that. Let me not, let me not even guess because I don't want to offend nobody. He's probably watching this video, but for somebody of his age, he's like really in shape. Because man, I'm not, I'm not fat. I'm not fat at all. But um, I'm not in the best shape. I will be out of breath. Man, Robert Lowe was out there elbowing and 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 everything. I was like, wow, look at him go. So I'm going to pray to the higher ups that when I'm a senior citizen that I can um, move like him, man, because he moves pretty good. He moves real good. Um, so here's the update. Uh, the truck is out the shop, finally. It's been out the shop since yesterday morning. I'm still here at the Springfield, Missouri terminal. Uh, they found me a load to go home to Fontana. The only thing is, uh, it's a power load, which means somebody initiated the load, already had the load. They're gonna drop it off here at the Springfield, Missouri terminal, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna, you know, take it the rest of the way. So for you guys who don't know, that's what it, yes, usually what it means to power, uh, I, I believe is what it means to power a load. You basically, you take over somebody else's load. They drop off the load, you take it the rest of the way. I don't know where the load is coming from. Um, Yesterday at around 10 o'clock in the morning, dispatch told me uh, he should be here in a couple, you know, tomorrow. He's taking, he's on his 10 hour break, he's out of, he's out of hours, he should be here. So it is currently, and that was at 10 a.m. yesterday morning, and it's currently like, I don't know, I don't even know what time it is, but it's way past, you know, it's, it's, been, a, it's been almost 24 hours. So I'm still sitting here waiting for that load. Um, the, the, the waiting is getting to me. The waiting is really getting to me because I'm ready to, you know, get rolling now. You know, I'm sitting here, um, not getting paid. I mean, I don't know if I'm getting paid for sitting here. I mean, because this is not really, this is really not my fault. But, uh, this week is getting better. I'm not really going to stress it, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's turning around now. It was a really, it started off being a really bad week from the whole situation that happened at the shipper to the truck breaking down to me waiting in the... 
uh, having to stay in a hotel, which I'm getting refunded for is a good thing. But um, look at all these people. They probably watch it. <laughs> um, so here's a little update. Another little update on what's going on with Intermodal is uh, on, on, this, on, the, on the downside. On the good part about Intermodal is I'm going to be home every night. Um, and I'm going to be able to take my truck home and park it at home because at home I don't have any transportation. I don't have a car right now. I get I got rid of my old car. I just didn't want to keep putting money into it, you know. Um, and I was like, well, I'm about to be a truck driver anyway. I don't really need a car. That's before I knew that I was becoming, you know, I was going to be doing intermodal and I was going to be home every night. So that's the good side. The good side, I'm going to be home every night. I can really enjoy my money. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, ha have fun. Have reasonable fun. You know, don't go too crazy. But on the bad side is they're taking my truck. And I love this truck. It's, it's, I love this yellow truck. I got used to it. It's one of the few 10 speeds left. Um, as far as, and it's one of the few internationals because I heard that they're ending their, their, their agreement thing with international. And I really, I really got attached to the truck. I know I had it for a short, uh, short amount of time, but when you get something and it's, you know it's yours and it's something that you worked for, um, it's kind of like, I got a comment. I got a comment, and um, I don't know. What's, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know something. I'll read it later. Anyways, uh, when you when you working for something, you really want it. You know, you really want it, and you want to keep it. And you know, I like the truck. You know what I'm saying? But they're putting me in a day cab, which should be interesting because I've never seen a prime day cab before, and that should be something to make a video about, which is pretty cool. So um, they're giving me a day cab. I'll be home every night. I'll be able to take the truck home because they know I don't have reasonable transportation. Uh, so I, I can have a way to get back and forth to work. Why is this truck rocking back and forth? So that's the update. That's what's going on. I'm sitting here waiting for my load to get dropped off here at the spring from Missouri Terminal. And then I'm going to head back to Fontana. And then I'll make a video when I get there. Peace out.